Hey, what's up? I'm Liz, the Split City DIY, and we're going to do a quick video today looking at WebOS Open Source Edition for the Raspberry Pi. Uh, I read about this in Magpie a couple days ago, um, and so this is the original article that I saw. Uh, and WebOS, for those that don't know, it's basically an um, operating system that was uh, has gone through a lot of iterations right now. It's kind of been uh, LG's baby uh, for a bit, so if you have a smart TV from LG, this is the operating system that's uh, running on that. Uh, and I actually, I do have a smart TV from LG, so it's it's weird to see it kind of running on a Raspberry Pi. Of course, this is the open source edition, it's not the one for like TV, um, but it basically, uh, this operating system is aimed at developers, uh, because everything's open source, uh, I think they're really as you can see here, they are kind of pushing this uh, Internet of Things uh, connectivity with it. They want people to kind of make their own apps. So it's a little bit more advanced kind of stuff than what you'd maybe find on like Raspbian or something like that. It's a little bit advanced even for me. Uh, but for developers, this is definitely uh, something to take a look at. Uh, and they do have a lot of frameworks easily available and APIs and everything. And this is their website for the project. It looks a little bit stretched out on my... 21 by 9 uh, screen, but they have a great walkthrough on how to get started, how to build the image and everything. Um, they have step-by-step -step instructions, which I'm going to bring up. So yeah, you just got to get onto a Linux OS and you can build it. You can build it right on Raspberry Pi and Raspbian. And the only thing is um, I did read that it takes up a hefty amount of space. Uh, so make sure you have enough space. So you might want to do it on an x86 Linux build if you have that available. Um, I actually didn't build my image. There is someone who is hosting it and it's linked. Um, where is it? It's linked here in the um, Magpie article. Um, if you scroll down on this GitHub string here, if it helps you wait for a time being. Yeah, this guy here built it, uh, and you can download from here. He's hosting it as see here as home server, so it's a little bit of a slower download, especially if you're rocking a VPN. Uh, but you know, you get it, and then you can just uh, flash it onto an SD card like you normally would uh, for an OS for Raspberry Pi. I, I've been into Etcher lately. Been really digging Etcher. If you haven't checked it out, definitely take a look. It's um. It's a little bit faster than um, WinDisk uh, if you're on Windows, uh, and also it's open source, so even better. So definitely check out Etcher. I'll link it down in the description. Just kind of the history of WebOS. I found this interesting article by InfoQ. They kind of go through how everything's working. It was a really good article on it. I will link this article uh, in the description as well. Um, I'm just going to give you a heads up before we actually look at it running on the Pi. Uh, it's it's a bit bare bones right now because as I said like they're kind of they're pushing people to build their own apps so it doesn't really come with like a fully loaded apps uh, system uh, let's take a look at their development tools they're really pushing the use of Enact, which is a web development framework as you can see right here and they and even Enact has a nice getting started thing that uh, I might try out. If you're interested in seeing kind of more of this, let me know. This kind of thing uh, I'm interested in at the moment, so if you'd like to see me kind of explore this kind of stuff, let me know. But yeah, they're pushing an act, and it has a really great like step-by-step, -step, like and I look at it, I feel like I might be able to do it. So definitely, and if you have development experience, then this might definitely be something for you. But let's boot up my Raspberry Pi. My cat's kneading her claws. and. When you just hear random scratching, crackling noise, you do kind of panic that something might be on fire. But it's just my cat. But, okay. <laughs> so let's go ahead, boot up the Raspberry Pi, running WebOS. You can see how it boots up, see what it looks like, and everything like that. Uh, so let's go there. Okay, so just boot up the Pi. We see our famous rainbow. It is a slower boot. I notice and like other operating systems I've used in the Pi, but then we quickly get the, the username. And then if you've ever used an LG smart device running WebOS, you'll recognize those dots. And then we're into kind of the the Northern Lights kind of thing that you may have seen before from LG. Um, and you just have this kind of desktop. And like I like I said, if you don't know what to do next, you're kind of like what? Because if you click around or anything like that, not nothing happens. So you have to press F1. And that brings our apps over. So actually just that like blank desktop is an app. 
uh, called the Bear app. <laughs> so uh, this is all it comes with stock. Uh, don't expect like a Raspbian style, like suite of stuff you can take a look at. It's definitely like meant for developers. It does though come with the YouTube app. Which works surprisingly well. Uh, I mean, I guess not surprisingly, but you can sign in your account if you want, and you could have a little YouTube box if you really, if you really wanted to. But um, I'm trying to find something that's like, well, why not? Um, <laughs> this skit was great, by the way. Uh, so you get your. It looks just like you're watching it on a. It looks just like you're watching on a smart TV. Like, it's crazy. Um, so that's cool. And then if you want to get out of there, it's escape. Um, and same thing for the- to get back to the apps, it's again like F1 and then you can take a look at the other stuff. And that's just links you to the WebOS open source, um, Website, same thing we looked at before, but just gives you frame of reference, and then uh, the Enact, it just links you to the Enact website as well, uh, but again, just gives you frame of reference. Uh, I mean, so, so there's not a lot included on here. Um, I haven't had any luck finding like whether you can like load, like side load apps onto here. If anyone finds information on that, like, let me know. Um, you, there's also settings, of course, like language, date, and time. Network's very easy to set up, similar to a smart device. Um, you can go back pretty easily. One thing I will say, though, when I've tried, like, new operating systems and single board computers in the past, whether it be a Pi, whether it be a Tinkerboard, or anything in that sort of family, normally there's issues getting into just run to just not even run to just crawl along and just be stable and not just totally crash and have to like reboot your your board and i'm not having to do that with this it works i watched uh, like a lot of youtube videos on it last night just to like kind of run it through its paces and it it was fine so i think if you're looking to develop your own apps or you want to just experiment even I think it's definitely something to look at. Or if you want to just try building an image from scratch following their step-by-step -step instructions that they have, try that too. Uh, so it's always exciting when there's like kind of a new player um, in for an operating system that's open source, I think at least. Uh, and I'm curious to see what comes of it, uh, if it kind of catches on, um, if people start contributing more to the community. Uh, so. Yeah, I think it has some promise. I think it's interesting, if nothing else. Nothing else is interesting, so I just wanted to let other people know, especially, I know there's some more advanced people that watch um, my videos uh, that are developers that may want to, like, try something like that out. But that's going to do it for this video. If you like to toss me a thumbs up, leave any questions or comments down below. Um, are you interested in WebOS? Do you think it has a future on the Raspberry Pi or just in the open source community in general? Let me know. Uh, find me on social media. Links are down in the description as well as other links I referenced throughout the video, articles on this, etc. etc. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing for more content like this. And until next time, this has been Blitz City DIY.